want to speak a little bit here about one of the greatest guitar players that ever lived. When Eddie Van Halen came on the scene, I had never heard guitar playing like that. You knew something superior was happening. I remember going to see um, when Sammy uh, first joined up. Sammy and Eddie were wearing like these pantalones, like uh, <laughs> like these like blousey kind of pants <laughs> with the cutoff shirts and the bandanas tied around their necks. And they could pull off those outfits. And I was like, God, it's exactly what I want to look like. It's the exactly kind of talent I want. And it's exactly what I want to be doing in life. I want to be on stage <laughs> rocking this fucking music and playing metal music. And then when Eddie started playing and you watch him, you couldn't take your eyes off him. That guitar is like it's part of his body and his hands are moving. And I'm sitting there going, Jesus Christ, this is this is it. You know, <laughs> the disturbing thing was Eddie always um, had a a cigarette lit on stage. He did that move where you take the cigarette and you put it in the neck of your guitar. He starts eruption. He's got the cigarette hanging out of his mouth and the smoke is going in his eyes and it's blowing up in his face and he's still playing. Then while he's holding the guitar with his left hand playing, he takes the right hand, he takes a couple of drags on the cigarette, <laughs> sticks it back into the neck of the guitar. And I'm like, this motherfucker do can do that? it. And blowing smoke rings. And blowing smoke rings. And I'm like, he is so relaxed with that guitar. It is so a part of his life. It is so a part of him. And you know what kills me? This is the thing I'm hung up on. Thousands and thousands of hours of guitar playing. All of that talent, all of that expertise is gone now. It's like, okay, we have recordings of it, but it's gone. And it drives me crazy. Where does all that talent go? Where does that go? And will we ever see another one like him? I don't think so. I mean, the guy was so innovative. In fact, I asked Steve Nowicki, Steve, you're a guitar player. Steve loves Eddie Van Halen. He owns a bunch of those uh, Eddie Van Halen guitars. Give me a little bit of um, background on what you know about Eddie Van Halen guitars and some of his great techniques. So the way, I mean, Eddie changed the way that people physically play guitar. Like everybody knows the two hands on the neck uh, tapping thing, which sounds like this. <laughs> And all that, I mean, he pioneered um, this piece of uh, technology. It's called the Floyd Rose Tremolo with the whammy bar. I mean, he really pioneered this, which developed all these sounds of like. Eddie said in some interview that he was so poor, he didn't have money for these, you know, wah-wah pedals and effects pedals. So he had to build a guitar and rely on his fingers and playing to get all of these effects that he eventually got out of the guitar. Is that right? Right. And he bought the cheapest guitar. You know, um, th this is a uh, replica I built of his Frankenstein, Frankenstrat red guitar. He said, I named it Frankenstein because of all the different parts I found. It was like putting together a body, uh, you know, a dead body. He took this from that and that from this and, and he created Frankenstein, the guitar. These are actually ones that I built. I wanted to go through the same process that Eddie made. Like I did the paint job on it. I bought the uh, 61071 neck plate and the reflectors on the back of it and all that. Uh. <laughs> show us why Eddie Van Halen is um, notches above other guitar players. So I'll show you this. This is one of the coolest things where he makes his guitar sound like a violin, basically, where he's rolling up the volume knob and then he's got this echo effect on it. So it comes out like this. <laughs> That is just an amazing sound, isn't it? Yeah, and I mean, he did things with harmonics or, I don't know if you know harmonics, but it's when you yes. tap the string lightly. So he would do this thing called pinch harmonics, but he would also do tap harmonics, which he came up with, where you're tapping on it like. By the way, I should mention that Deep Tracks Channel 27 is now an Eddie Van Halen tribute channel. I'm, I'm just doing a little tiny tribute, but this is going to go on 24 hours a day. Eddie Van Halen also did the Beat It. The riff and Beat It, yeah. Which is so great. You got it, Eddie! 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 
And then when uh, Sammy Hagar came in the band, and this is what's remarkable. He went from David Lee Roth to Sammy Hagar and then had bigger hits with Sammy Hagar, which is rarely done in rock. I remember I thought the band was over. It was over, right? I tried to get in touch with Sammy yesterday. Sammy uh, didn't want to come on the air today, but he said... Um, that I understand, yeah. He says he's not up to talking in person, but he did send me this note, so I'll share it with you. I would love you to share that Eddie and I had been texting, and it's been a love fest since we started communicating earlier this year. Oh. We both agreed not to tell anyone because of all the rumors it would stir up about a reunion, etc., and we both knew that wasn't going to happen. But he also didn't want anyone to know about his health. He stopped responding to me a month ago, and I figured it wasn't good. I reached out one more time last week, and when he didn't respond, I figured it was a matter of time, but it came way too soon. And that is signed by Sammy Hagar himself. So that's what Sammy's thinking about. So these guys... It's rather shocking. These guys uh, kept it quiet, but they were texting one another. And, uh, you know, I never, you know, even when Sammy was on the show the last time and he was here with uh, Michael Anthony, those guys, you know, they weren't bad-mouthing uh, Eddie Van Halen. They were just doing their own thing. But I'm sure that this is an emotional day for David Lee Roth and for, for uh, Definitely. Sammy. And for, and of course, and Michael Anthony's. Alex, and yeah. And Alex, you feel really bad for Alex because they never left each other. They were always together from childhood till now. Yeah. Those two brothers were together. By the way, I thought uh, as a capper, I would show you this. One of my most uh, prized possessions, Robin. Yes. A guitar that Mr. Edward Van Halen gave me. And as you ah. can see, this guitar, I got a piece of plastic over the neck. But this guitar is called Wolfgang, named after his son. Uh huh. You know, eat your heart out. Um, you didn't build that. Eddie just gave that to you. And on it, Eddie wrote, Howard, I don't care what people say about you, really, in parentheses, or me. All the best, Eddie Van Halen. Uh -huh. And uh, looks like he put the date. Looks like 98, something like that. Beautiful. And, uh, there you go. I hope that was a fitting tribute to the one and only Eddie Van Halen.